your entrance determines your exit. <laughs> Maybe this is one to highlight for us and say, be careful, arrogance and humility. Arrogance takes us out quickly. We, we're not thinking long term if we're arrogant. In ministry, and if you've had any success or even having success in this season, it's very easy for people to put you on a pedestal, get you to come speak into all the stuff you're doing. And let me say, I don't say hold back from the things God's shown you, but be careful how you present what God's shown you, that it's God who showed you these things and God should be getting the glory for it. And so if we're not humble, God opposes the proud, the Bible says, but he brings grace to the humble. So just stay humble, friends. And I'll tell you the best way of doing that. Are you ready? Hang out with Jesus. When you connect with Jesus, you cannot be arrogant. You know that. You can hear about Jesus. You can read scripture. But when you connect and hang out, how can I hang out with Jesus and then get up and tell everyone how awesome I am or let people think I'm awesome? Our job is to point people to Jesus. So in this season now, if you're leading for the future, deal with arrogance be humble, friends. I realize that that's not apologizing for who you are. It's not making excuses for who you are. But it's realizing God gets the glory for everything we're involved in. And that's big time if you're going to be a person who wants to build for the future, leading for tomorrow. Because God, we've seen in church history, takes his hand off arrogant people eventually and stops using them. They lose their way. And I'm saying, Lord, use me till the end. And I want to build for a future and with a future. And I've met many humble people, people we've stood on their shoulders in what we're walking in. Because of their humility, God's used them mightily. They're not looking for profile. They're not looking for spotlight. They just want to glorify Jesus and work. And God's using those people. So let's be those people. And if you are that, stay that. Because I think that's our big test in leadership. <music>